make it, eat it, and keep saying whatever. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. The pickled uh, onions and uh, green chilli in vinegar. Basically, all you need to do is put a piece of beetroot and put shallots and chillies. Basically, if you're going to make a chicken curry, on top of this, we're going to put these uh, uh, shallots and the onions, which will be very tasty. And this vinegar chicken curry, which is very, very popular and absolutely tasty. Mm, 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 mm. Hello. Namaste, Salam Alaikum, Sastri Akal. Welcome back to another session with your washef. Today we are going to make vinegar chicken. This chicken curry with topping of vinegar, uh, shallots and uh, green chilli will be absolutely tasty. Especially with a bottle, it will be even more tasty. So let's go ahead and make this. Add oil in the pan. And in this medium hot oil, we are going to add clove, cardamom and also some shahi jeera. In this, add onions. Add salt, we are going to cook the onions till they are slightly colored. We are going to add some chopped ginger, garlic, even if you have ginger garlic paste that should be fine. Add some turmeric, I am going to add some cashew nut powder to this and slightly saute. You know this will make the gravy very very pleasant and tasty. So you don't have to cook for a long time. When you make the you know almond paste or the cashew nut paste, you have to cook it for a long time. But when you make a powder, you know you can add it to the hot oil slowly cook this so what will happen is the raw flavor will not be there and it will cook much faster now we are going to add a little bit of tomato puree and slowly immediately it will start thickening look at this in this we are going to add some yogurt all the sarring agents in this we are going to add the powders the masala powders the coriander powder the cumin powder garam masala chili powder cook this on a slow flame till some of the oil starts showing up then we are going to add water and then we are going to make it to the right consistency. So now we are going to cook this on a slow flame till some of the oil starts showing up. You can see how the oil is coming out of the gravy. In this add the chicken pieces and also add water. You know this is the easiest way of making a perfect chicken curry. The chicken will cook for 20 minutes in the gravy. So anything that is raw or anything it will be cooked to perfection on a medium flame for 20 minutes. On slow cooking I have achieved a texture that I really like. In this, I am going to spice it up a little bit by chopped green chilli and also, you know, I am going to add some butter that will kind of reduce that vinegary effect and make this very nice and flavorful and tasty. In this, add some chopped coriander, the shallots and the green chilli that have been soaked in the vinegar. I am going to add a little bit here and rest of it I am going to add on top of the curry when I serve. Do not add too much in this gravy. Switch off the flame. This is ready to serve. When you eat it, you know, traditionally, whenever we eat chicken with uh, biryanis and all that, they used to serve brown vinegar because it's a great combination that sourness with biryani will be really excellent. Even in these kind of chicken curries, you enjoy that awesome sourness, but don't cook it after you add to this, switch off. Now this is ready to serve the vinegary onion chili with the chicken curry. chicken, the gravy, everything. The shallots that have been soaked in the vinegar, you know we added a small piece of beetroot to get that nice red color. You can also add little more of this, the chili, the vinegar, that's it. Some coriander leaf, when you eat it, you will get that nice kick punch for the chicken curry. So let's try this, sirka chicken, uh, sirka means vinegar, the chicken, but people make it many ways. I love the flavors of vinegar and if you want, you can also use apple vinegar, which is much milder version in making this. So with this, first let's enjoy the gravy. The crunchy onion, the crunchy shallots and the chili. Mm. Out of the world, difference. Keep cooking amazing food. Whenever I make this, I make it a little bit spicy because you know that is when you really, really enjoy this. Sometimes you want to eat something where you want to get the sweat and all that flowing. Very easy and very flavorful. Make it, eat it, and keep saying whatever. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Finger licking good. We post a lot of recipes, so keep watching, keep cooking, and keep saying whatever. Wow magic with Chef Money. Mm.